All right, so I've got a 5 HP 19 ZF transmission here from a BMW E46 325i. Um, there was no videos on how to actually pull the pump out of this one. It was really frustrating, so I figured I'd try to do a short one. There's the nine bolts up here in the front that go around the transmission pump. And then you actually have to pull the pan filter, the valve body. It's mostly the big screws that goes around here. You don't pull every single screw out from this valve body. It's just mostly the ones that go around the outsides, and you'll have to kind of play with it and figure out which ones it is, you know. Pull the electrical connector out of the side real easy. There's two bolts for another electrical connector and then a plug. So once that body is out, there's two pipes just like this that sit in the... You can see the, uh, the oil pump moves independently inside here of this casing. See how that works? So when those tubes are in these holes, it doesn't allow you to pull that thing out. So that's why you might be scratching your head and nobody telling you you have to take the valve body out. Um, the way the one on this side, which the, the filter plugs into, that's easy. It just comes out. The one on this side, you're going to have a spring. It's this deal right here. It's got a spring that goes down in it. And what you do is this metal piece will be sticking up out of this pipe. So you push down the metal piece, twist a little bit counterclockwise, and then it'll come out. And you have to look in there. So once that piece is out, this is going to be the hard one to remove. The one on this side, like I said, comes right out, or should. This one, you're gonna have to put like a piece of rubber tubing around some needle nose pliers and just hold pressure upward and move it around a little bit. And sooner or later, it might pop out. Mine broke a couple little teeth, but um, you know, you can buy new ones. I've seen them for sale. So you might just have to break it a little bit to get it out. So once you get that, you can see now the transmission oil pump is gonna slide out and I just gotta pull it off the stand so I can actually get the whole thing out. So that's how you do it. Hope this helps some people out. And um, it's just kind of ridiculous, but I guess somebody's got to make a video for it. And uh, I had to be that guy. I'm just glad I got it out now. Maybe I can get my damn car fixed. I don't know how the monkey fuck I'm going to put all this stuff back together. I mean, I guess we'll figure it out. All right. Leave me some comments or questions. Uh, there might be something I left out later.